Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to draw the most used angles using only a compass and a ruler. As you can see on the bottom of the screen we have two rays, R and S, starting at points A and B respectively. The first step we are going to draw a 90 degree angle from the point A of ray R. To do this, we set our compass to whatever radius you like, and setting your compass to point A, we scribe an arc until it cuts the ray at a new point 1. And also prolongate this arc to the left, as can be seen here, as we are going to use this to scribe another arc later. Now, setting our compass on point 1, and with the same radius, we scribe an arc until it cuts our previously drawn arc at a new point, which we will call 2, as seen here. So now again, with our compass on point 2 and the same radius, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts our first arc at a point, which we will call 3. And finally, setting our compass on point 3 with the same radius, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the previously drawn arc at a new point, which we call 4. So now finally, with a ruler, we are going to join point A uh, through point 4, as can be seen here, and this line forms our 90 degree angle, as shown here. The next step, we are going to draw a 60 degree angle from the point B of ray S. To do this, we set our compass to whatever radius you like again, and setting our compass to point B, we scribe an arc until it cuts the ray at a new point C, as shown here. Now setting our compass on point C, and with the same radius, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn arc at a new point, which we will call D. As the point D is the apex of an equilateral triangle, BCD, therefore, if we draw a line from point B through D, it will form a 60 degree angle. Now we are going to draw the angular bisector of the 60 degree angle. To do this, we set our compass to whatever radius we like again, and setting it on the point B, we scribe an arc until it cuts both lines, as shown here. These two points are going to be the center points of a new arcs that will intersect each other at a new point, which we will join to B to form the 30 degree angle. So now as can be seen, we join B through this intersecting arcs, forming a 30 degree angle. So now we repeat this process to obtain a 15 degree angle by working out the angular bisector of the 30 degree angle, as can be seen here in the video. So the next step is to draw a 45 degree angle by working out the angular bisector of the 90 degree angle. To do this, we set our compass to whatever radius slightly longer than A4, as can be seen here, and setting uh, on the point A, we scribe an arc until it cuts both lines as shown. These two points are going to be the center points of the new arcs that will intersect each other at a new point which we will join to A to form our 45 degree angle. Now our second arc, cutting our previously drawn arc. And finally, we join this new intersection to A. And this is our angular bisector of the 90 degrees, which forms a 45 degree angle. We are going to repeat the process to obtain 22.5 degrees angle by working out the angular bisector of the 45 degree angle, as can be seen here in the video, following the same process. So we scribe two intersecting arcs again. Where these arcs intersect, we will join it to point A, forming 
22.5 degrees half of 45 degrees so here we have the most used angles using only a compass and a ruler i hope you have enjoyed the video press like or subscribe to our youtube channel thank you until the next time